going all you card lovers alike today we are doing a product review and it is for the game genic series game genic has brought us a bunch of sleeves binders <laughs> deck boxes and we're going to be having a look at those today and see what sort of quality we're working with today's video is sponsored by solo pop and unplug yourself solo pop our premium importer of board games and toys and unplug yourself join the tabletop revolution Side holder 80 plus for its namesake is does exactly what it is supposed to do. You've got your side, it's a side holder deck box, it's got a nice divider for games that use tokens, but as the name says it, it is 80 plus. So let's have a look and see how different card decks uh, fare in this box. Um, it's got the fold line, so I like that design. It means that it doesn't break very easily. Um, the, the fold lines will guide it open and closed. Uh, so what we've got here is we've got our regular 60 card Pokemon deck um, 60 card sleeved in regular matte sleeves and it fits very comfortably with lots of room So for the magic players you've got your divider that you can put your sideboard Yu-Gi-Oh players can also put their sideboard um, There's more than enough space. Let's take it up one level and let's try the double sleeve 60 card deck so this is my double sleeve pokemon deck it's with got super mats over it um and i feel like yeah it should it fits quite comfortably there's got it's a lot less room the divider can still fit in for those who want to put a couple of tokens there's more than enough space for tokens but the double sleeve 60 card fits pretty snug um, going to a level up and I think we already know the answer to this remember this is called the 80 plus here we have a hundred card commander deck um, and I have a sneaky feeling that this is not gonna fit uh, but we can give it a go anyway just for the sake of it as you can see we are about 20 cards shy as the box would suggest so no to commander but yes to 60 easily and double sleeve 60 just as easily so in summation 60 cards very easy 60 cards double sleeved nice and snug with some space but a hundred card commander absolutely not the sidekick 100 plus is a definitely a more premium deck box they got rated a by the professor of Tolerian community college if we pull this deck box out we can see oh yes that has a nice matte finish. Uh, let's have a look and see what the accessibility of this box is. Uh, it's got very nice packaging. As you can see, it's quite a struggle to get it out. But it's got this... Uh, it's not um, textured per se. It's like leatherette. Um, it's a very... It's actually a smooth texture although the camera suggests otherwise the deck box opens on both sides um, very nice it's got that magnetic click and it's pretty stable um, click I think while you're playing with the deck it suggested that you put this at the bottom if I'm not mistaken click up right and there your deck box is open take out the silica gel um, so let's see how decks fit inside we originally we have our 60 card traditional deck now this is a hundred plus so we shouldn't have any problems across the board 60 card deck in fact looking at the amount of space here i think it's possible that we could actually fit another full 60 if it was tight um but 60 with a sideboard perfectly fine moving on to the 60 card double sleeve super mats we can see that fits pretty snug with more than enough space so this is 60 cards with a sideboard with ease, um, with your tokens if you're playing a 60 card deck, uh, definitely fits nice and snug. Lastly, the test that the side holder didn't hold up to was the 100 card commander. So if we step this commander in, very nice, it's got a little bit of room, it's got some wiggle room, I'm sure we can s squeeze some tokens in here. Um, Oh, it's about a just under finger space so some maybe some sleeve or unsleeved tokens and it fits pretty neatly in this magnetic box and that is tight like I'm pulling on this 
And that's tight. I'm sh Let me shake it upside down. The fact of the matter is, guys, this is not going anywhere. Really, really well designed. Um, opening it up is pretty easy. The ease of it all is pretty good. And yeah, I understand why the professor gave this an A. Um, I don't think there's much more you could want out of a deck box. Of course, uh, this is Game Genic's premier box. Um, but definitely worth it. Um, I would love to grab myself a couple of different colors of this one. This one is a beast. Next up, we've got the Game Genic Casual Album. This is an entry level binder, but by no means is it entry spec. This binder is the key to a good binder in this day and age, in my opinion, is a side loading binder. And this has got it. Not to mention that the sleeves are color coded according to the color binder you get, but they are side loading sleeves. So just as a test, we've got a couple of sleeved Pokemon and Magic cards, sleeved, they fit in perfectly still. Me personally, when it comes to my more expensive collection, I do like to put cards that are sleeved into my binder as well, because it's just that little bit of extra protection and this fits those sleeved cards perfectly without an issue. There was no force as you can see when I put them in, they feed in pretty easily and there is a ton of space it's got a perfect elastic as well for while it's in transit that nothing falls out the binder can't open the elastic is actually really strong um it was actually quite hard to take off in the beginning but i'm sure as an elastic does it will wear down as we go along but this binder is not bad at all as the info sheet says the binder can take up to 160 cards so there's ample space in this binder. This is a very, very entry level binder. And I personally feel this is a great, great grab and another awesome product by GameGenic. Next up, we have a very unique product. And when I saw this on the shelf, I thought this is a game changer. What we have here is the perfect for Commander two times 100 inner and outer sleeves now i've had my reservations about double sleeves in the past but they do provide an extra level of protection for your cards something that i really recommend if you guys have got some high-end level decks double sleeving is perfect it does make it look a bit puffy but it's worth it so this is the matte foil averting symptoms the durable sleeves i need to see number one how easy it is to sleeve this and number two for me most importantly as a player how easy it is to shuffle these sleeves so let's get sleeving up Sleeving process, a little tedious, but results. It fits in the 100 plus very, very snugly. Like, there is no room. Bearing in mind that when you double sleeve, there is a bit of a bubble that does appear in the beginning. So this is quite snug, but it fits. And of course, more importantly, the shuffle test without me throwing cards all over the place as you can see fresh sleeves of course cards are just flying at me uh the shuffle test more cards just want to join in the pile here we'll just take them as they come onto camera okay shuffle test here we go you can mass shuffle pretty nicely it has a mild matte feel to it it's not as matte as other game sleeves like other brands 
but um, it is definitely one heck of a smooth shuffle. I am not going to lie. I mean, I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to do it slowly. It is so smooth. They are brand new, I understand, but they are so smooth. Do I attempt to riffle with brand new sleeves or am I going to make a mess? Very, very nice shuffle indeed. It was my only concern because generally speaking, it's the shuffle that separates the good from the bad sleeves. It's the shuffle and all in all, not too bad at all. I think that gets my shuffle stamp of approval. So yeah, sleeves fantastic. Inner sleeves are matte as well. So the getting it into the outer sleeve was a bit of a challenge because the sleeves are causing a little bit of friction, but that friction does allow the cards to hold like pretty well. There's no movement within the sleeves. So definitely, definitely worthwhile sleeves. Um, and it fits in the in the box. So I mean, what, what more could you want? That's it for my game generic review. Thank you very much to the sponsors of the video, Solopop and Unplug Yourself. Solopop are premium import of board games and toys, and Unplug Yourself join the tabletop revolution. Go get your game genic stuff at your local game stores today. I think that the value is definitely there for the money, the price tag that comes along with these products. It's definitely worth it. This, I would classify this as bang for your buck product. And the 100 plus box is sturdy as hell i definitely top recommendation from everything that was open once again thank you very much for tuning in guys i appreciate all of the support there will be a giveaway surrounding these on my facebook page so make sure you go check it out it is facebook.com forward slash kahuna koala check out my instagram at kahuna koala catch me on patreon patreon.com forward slash kahuna koala and you can catch me on twitch twitch.tv forward slash kahuna koala i'm live every tuesday at 8 p.m Guys, thank you very much for watching and until next time, cheers. I would like to give a shout out to all of my Patreons. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. No matter what the tier is, no matter how long you've been a Patreon for, I appreciate you.